everybody. I wanted to give you a gobblethon uh, update, review. I don't know. <laughs> I have a bit of a cold, so I'm not feeling awesome, which is why I haven't been on as much. And we had vacation, which was really great. I loved uh, spending time with my family. So that said, these are the books that I read over the Thanksgiving week. Um, some of them I'm still finishing up. And again, that's just a reminder of that just because you say you're going to read something doesn't mean you have to. You can change books. Just because you're going to do a readathon doesn't mean you have to follow all the rules. I'm a big believer in doing what you want. <laughs> so uh, these are the books that I finished. I'll do first. And then I uh, some of these I will be doing separate reviews for because they were very good. So the first one is Mighty Bear Powers by Lema Gabawe. And I did this as a buddy read with Manika uh, on her channel. And yeah, this was just a really, really good read. It's about the Liberian Civil War and the activism that helped to end some of the uh, crises. Uh, she's a strong, strong woman, and I appreciate finding heroines like that. But she is also uh, very willing to admit where she had problems personally and uh, how it affected her or some of her choices. She wasn't sure. Um, she still thinks she would have made them, but I'll say more about this later. Very, very good book. Uh, if you're interested in memoirs, social justice, activism, African politics, this is a great one. Next one was Girls and Sex by Peggy Ornstein. And this wasn't technically on my list, but I read it anyway because I got it on a library hold. And I've read one of her other books, uh, Cinderella Ate My Daughter, which was also very good about the princess culture. Um, this one is specifically about um, teenagers, young adults, uh, girls, and why they make the sexual choices that they are making. Um, some of them for good reasons, some of them are for bad. Uh, and she kind of gives you some skills to understand the generation to help you um, have better conversations about those items. Uh, I won't say too much more about that because I might do another video or at least include it on a different video. Um, but I really appreciated this one. If you are a parent of a girl, please read it. <laughs> if you are a young adult trying to figure out why you're making the choices you're making, also a good read. Um, it was very, she does her research. Uh, she does great interviews and she asks some great questions. So I really appreciated that one. This next two are actual rereads for me. The Kitchen Counter Cooking School. This counted for my kitchen uh, Thanksgiving word. And it's by Kathleen Flynn. This is my second read of this. And I really appreciated what she has to say as far as practical tips to inspire your cooking, to help you cut out some of the processed packaged foods, which I think will help out with our climate crisis quite a bit and kind of make you feel empowered to um, eat more healthfully, but also more deliciously, if you ask me. So uh, I really appreciate this. Uh, she talks a lot about why our cooking and eating choices say a lot about who we are as well. And uh, yeah, uh, she, she's lots of practical skills. If you feel like you know nothing about the kitchen or cooking, it's a good one to pick up. This one's Playful Learning by Mariah Bruel, and I've read this one before too. It's really short to flip through, uh, but it's about setting up learning environments uh, around your home to help encourage the kind of the creative process, the learning process, and it's just a fun read. So this next one I will definitely be doing a video of. It is Climate Change by Philip, Philippe Squarzoni, and it's a graphic novel about climate change. Um, this was phenomenal. Um, yeah, it combines personal narrative with uh, facts, expert interviews, beautiful artwork. You couldn't have asked for more. Um, it was just really, really good. If you don't know about climate change or you feel like you are ill-prepared to discuss it, this is a great primer. I would say it was even good for upper middle school, um, as far as high school even. So if you are trying to kind of help educate your children about it. This is just, it's really, really good. Um, it is heartbreaking because he doesn't have a very optimistic outlook, uh, but neither do I <laughs> uh, on, on the climate. So I really appreciated uh, what he had to say as to what we need to do to change. This one's very short. It's Maya Angelou's Phenomenal Woman collection. It's just four poems about women. And she's really gotten me through this whole month. Uh, I'm actually planning on doing, uh, I think a quilt of the still I rise poem. And this is, she's just great. I'll probably reread it a few times before I return it to the library. I asked for her for Christmas. I mean, not my Angelou per personally, obviously, but, um, several of her poetry books. These last three are, I'm in the middle of it. 
There's The Lincoln Poems by Dan Guilleroy, and this is just kind of a fun history poetry collection on Lincoln. It's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's about Lincoln, so I don't really care if it's perfect or not. This is Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. Just came out, and it's, I read it, I picked it up from the library, and I'm, I, I picked it up last night. I think I'm a third of the way through. It's really, really good. He has... I, he, I enjoy his comedy, but I didn't expect him to be as thought-provoking on some of the issues about South Africa, about language and race, and how the two really can make or break um, racism and, and class structure. And Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And the third one is Chris Hadfield's The Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth. And this is also a big surprise. I don't know why I'm going so slowly in it. I think it's because I'm trying to absorb every word. Um... Uh, but he has a lot of fun, fun stories, um, but also great lessons about being prepared, trying to make yourself an expert uh, because you don't know when you'll need something, taking advantage of every opportunity, and not doing things to get to a goal, but doing things because you never know when you might need them. And I am really enjoying him. So I don't know. I'll probably finish him today or tomorrow. But that is what I read for Gobblethon. Let me know what you read over the Thanksgiving holiday. If you've read any of these or you have questions, please put them in down below. If you want to like or subscribe to the channel, I would love it. Uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye.